Hello, I'm Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're going over the basics of Node.js so that you can start making full stack applications with JavaScript, which is super cool. So anyway, we're just on the third challenge. Um, it's getting increasingly more challenging, um, but let's have some fun and learn some Node. So the third challenge is my first I.O. We're going to start reading from the file system, from, from our actual hard drive. You can do that now with JavaScript. Really exciting. So let's enter into it. Oops, let's make sure my terminal is highlighted. Let's enter into it. And if you haven't already, read the hints. And when you have finished reading, come back to the video. So pause, read, and then come back. Okay, so after you finish reading, we're going to write a program that uses a synchronous file system operation to read a file and print the number of new lines. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, we're going to create a new file. Okay, and I'm going to call it 03 my first io.js. And you can call this anything that you want to. I just want to uh, be super organized. Okay, we're going to uh, use one of the core modules that are available to us in the Node.js ecosystem. This one is for the file system, or FS for short. So let's define a constant FS, and we're going to require this in. So Node, it has a lot of native modules available to us. And file system is just one of them. And it has just like tons of methods available to it. Um, if we go to the uh, website right here, if we go to nodejs.org and you click on the docs and um, choose your version right there on the side. And these are all of the native modules and kind of like features that, uh, that you know, that make up Node. And it's quite a lot of stuff. But the FS module that we just required in is this one right here where it says file system. So uh, click into that. And this is where all of the methods are available for uh, this particular version of Node 7.7.2. And uh, for this video, we're going to use read file sync. We're going to read the contents of a file given to us, and then we are going to count the number of new line characters uh, that are in there. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, we are going to need to get a um, like this buffer object um, from, from read file sync. So it's going to give the contents to us as a buffer and we need to convert that into a string and then, uh, and then count up the number of new line characters. All right. So first let's get the buffer and uh, we're going to change it a little bit. Um, actually, we're not going to change it. Let's just put it in right here. Uh, we'll say const buffer. And we are going to use fs read file sync. All right, the uh, path to the file is in the uh, command line argument. So process argv and the second index right there. And um, basically, this is going to be a buffer. Um, you can go to the uh, docs and uh, read about the buffer object. It's uh, quite a lot. But basically, it's just a node's way of efficiently like storing data. And uh, anyway, making the buffer into a string is, is quite easy. You just need to call the toString method to it like that. So you can do it here, but I just wanted to make it clear and obvious that uh, we are, in fact, getting a buffer object from read file sync. And I had an E right there. Take that out. That's not what you need. So let's uh, create a new variable, const result. And we got to make that buffer into a string. So let's call buffer dot to string. All right. And let's turn it into an array with split. And we're going to use the uh, new line character as sort of the um, way to split up the string into an array. So we need to do a back slash in. So that's going to produce an array. So let's see how many elements are in that array. And then let's just add one so we get all of the new line characters. And then we're just going to print that to the result. Const result. Uh, or sorry, console log dot result. Okay. All right. And let's go back to the terminal here. Let's run it. Learning node. 
and we can run. No, let's verify first. And we're going to do 03 my first IO. Let's verify that. And whoops, it failed. Oh my God. What is going on? Actual 27 expected 25. Whoops, maybe we don't add one. Maybe we subtract one. That might be the issue there. Let's try it one more time. Let's verify it. Okay, there we go. We had to uh, subtract it. Whoops, I thought we would have to add, uh, but I guess um, anyway, because of reasons. Okay, so um, uh, that did it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you something cool, though. You're, you're probably wondering, like, well, what's this all about? What is this actually? Well, let's call the buffer. Here is the buffer. Okay, let's call the buffer. Okay, and we won't verify, but we will use the run command. And let's see what that buffer object actually looks like. Okay, so it looks like, um, like a buffer keyword is right here. And it has like these brackets and just like a series of numbers. So obviously this isn't like human readable. Uh, we don't know what this is. But when we call the toString method for it, then sure enough, if we run it again, that is amazing. So we get like this insane amount of text. Um, and, and I'm sure the buffer object, I'm sure this is just like truncated. It's not like the complete uh, buffer object uh, to us. But, um, but look, the, the, this part of a buffer object is like what's producing all of this like text right there. So really cool stuff. And that was synchronous programming. But in Node.js, you do things asynchronously, usually with callback functions. So in the next video, we are going to uh, do the fourth challenge. Let's go to learn your node and we are going to do my first asynchronous IO. So we're going to uh, get into callbacks and the fun really begins. Okay, let's stop right here. Let's take a break and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boop.